So public school's kind of weird. Hello everybody, this is Truth Drifter Tech Boy, and today we're going to be talking about my school journey and should Christian conservatives put their children in public school. So let's get into it. So as some of you may know, Addie Stuckey released a, like an hour and 30 minute video a couple weeks back about uh, should Christians go to public school and uh, consensus was no, they shouldn't. They should either be homeschooled or privately schooled. Here is my opinion on that. But first, let me give you some background on my schooling journey so that you all have information on where I'm coming from. So I was homeschooled, uh, like from the room. Um, so I practically like, skipped first grade, and as you can, I mean, it's not first grade, kindergarten. And as you can see from the intro, I used a Becca, a Becca from first to third grade. Now, um, I kind of hated a Becca. Now, I like the Bible lessons, the math is good, everything. But it was all those writing classes, the like penmanship, the then the spelling, which is just writing point two point because all the homework and stuff. So I went to a back in first, second, third, went to a thing called like a co-op thingy in uh where I went like on well it wasn't a co-op that one, but it was like I went on Mondays and Wednesdays and the rest of us at home. Then I went in fifth grade and did two classes at that co-op, sixth grade, and so my last year of a Becca. Thank goodness they took seat work away. Seat work was just a waste of time. Because the Beck is modeled off of a school called Pensacola Christian Academy, and they record the lessons there. Um, I it looks like they record every four years because like they updated the presidents every four years, and then they had the uh, like Roman numerals. Anyway, then I went to another like homeschool co-op. Then I went to a Christian private school, but it had three like you only went three days a week. COVID happened, and I went so that school went online, and then I went to another school that was online, and then I went into the world of like so this is now i'm in 10th grade public 11th grade public school that's where i am right now as of today so yeah all right so the reason i was homeschooled is because my parents wanted me to have a good biblical foundation which i hope you can see through here people um and then i went to all those co-ops and private school etc for because um I need to socialize. With I'm not saying that homeschool is not social. Social, like I socialize with like kids at church, but like I guess more structured classroom environment. I didn't want to like like if I was doing some ministry at church on Thursday, then I'd have to miss a day of school. Like actually miss a day of school. So like if you miss a day of school in private school or public school, or you miss a day of school, then um, there like you just miss the day. If you miss it doing DVD video lessons, you you just a day back. So you had 170 days. You thought you get those 170 days in. One of the benefits of homeschooling was that, like, near day 168, we could do, like, three days because we could, like, skip all the review lessons and just get in and do tests. And, man, those tests were fun. Testing is fun. Just saying. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, that's that. Now, what do I think? Should Christians go to public school? So it's a multifaceted issue. What I think is, oh, wait, let me try to slow down. What I think is, no, Christians shouldn't be going to public school. Uh, in the lower grades, first, second, third, fourth, middle school, maybe. I don't know. Um, but in high school, I guess if you've been homeschooled, you have a good biblical foundation, it's fine. But there are some caveats. So if you decide to go the route that I went, which is a very untraditional route, and you won't have that many friends because you switch schools every two years. Um, it, it's weird. It's weird. Like when I came into school, 10th grade, I had no idea what those kids were talking about. I, I didn't understand the link. Hi barely understand half of what they're talking about these days, okay? And also, since my reputation is like, oh, this is really isn't funny that you fall like, like, then I guess I, I guess I didn't also have to pretend I don't know what they're talking about, even though I figured out what they're talking about, like, uh, like a week ago or something like that, right? Okay, so I come in school, right? Last year, around this time, so like April, March, it's the same, oh, you believe, you believe Christ in this man. It's funny, but now the same jokes get reused. So if, if, if you go into an a environment like that, it's going to right, so you're gonna get bullied over the creationism stuff, just saying. Um, then just the, like, far-right stuff. Like, I, I walk into a room, 
right? And, and these, these kids are like, oh, well, I just bought a tin baby. <laughs> it's but it's a bought tin, get one for you on a punch card. <laughs> Uh, whatever. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's this boy who's apparently having a baby. I'm like, wait, wait, he's having a baby? I'm like, yeah, yeah, he's having a baby. He's at the abortion clinic. And yeah, you'll get all these random jokes of kids doing stuff like this. And this want to be deeper philosophical arguments about the evidence and uh, of God. There's going to be like jokes at your expense. It's going to be. Uh, it's just real tough, and you're not going to know half of what they're talking about sometimes either. Like, and, and it's also a couple of my technological genius personality thing. So I was like, oh, what, what are you talking about? Why are you always talking about Samsung? Um, so there's that. So I don't know. I mean, if I if I had been public schooled from first to 11th, I guess, uh, I'd be a very different person. I, you know, know what people were talking about, but I probably wouldn't have a show. Like the indoctrination aspect would probably be different. But like, okay, Becca is so big on the Bible lessons, right? That like, I only learned one thing, one thing from youth to church, and that was what being a hypocrite was. Okay, I knew all the Bible stories, like the Israelites, Joshua, Joshua, Israelites complaining, manna from heaven. And the biblical literacy of the children in, in schools today is so bad. It's so bad. Like, if you've ever heard the show Bible Bowl, right? Some, sometimes it's funny, like, sometimes kids are getting crushed, like, 200 to 20. Or, I mean, 200 to 60, right? Like, and obviously, that, you know, actually knows the answer. It's kind of funny. And I, I heard the show and it played around. We got, like, 100, 120 points. Okay, so I was able to keep hold my own against them. That Bible Bowl team would be able to steamroll. The biblical knowledge of kids in public school was so little. I could hold up an S22 plus here and have just the average everyday kid be like, oh, okay, tell me the specs of this phone. And then I could have them like be like, oh, okay, well, give me this Bible knowledge fact. It, it would probably be a contest. And if they've been talking to me, they might know more about the phone because, you know, Samsung, whatever. Yeah, so that's why I don't think you should go in the middle middle ages, middle school, elementary school, and darkness and stress there. Like, there's like a video on this channel about the BLM kids who held kids hostage on school property, forcing them to pledge allegiance to the BLM flag. And then there's like, yeah. So if I hadn't been in the Bible 10 years, doing church like two years straight, so c calculated from birth right, to now be about 2.2 .2 years straight. So we just me sitting there for two years, right? I don't think, yeah, I, you have to be extremely resistant in this environment. You have to know what you're standing for. You won't stand for anything. Like the kids there are just, right? All that stuff, like you, you have to know what you're talking about. You have to have your biblical knowledge. You have to have your answers and Genesis links. You have to have your, uh, like, you have. There's just so much, and I don't think I would have been able to withstand five years of that torture. I already have to withstand two or three. Um, should I go to public school next year? Who knows? The record for my attending a school like sequentially is two years. So, that's it. Well, you can tell me what you think in the comments. And yeah, that's all for now.